Hi, welcome to the College of Nursing virtual information session. Uh, my name is Matt, and I am going to uh, walk you through a slideshow um, uh, with information about our bachelor's degree of nursing program. Uh, so I'm going to turn my video off here, but I just wanted to introduce myself and say hi, and uh, we will get started here. So I thought I would um, share my contact information with you up front, uh, just in case there was any questions that you had um, and wanted to contact me after watching uh, this session. Um, rather than leave it at the end, I thought I would give you a chance to take some of this information down right now. Um, I can be reached at my email address, um, and I do check messages on my office uh, phone number, even though I'm working from home. So um, if you're watching this, uh, you're probably um, interested in a nursing degree. Uh, as I said, I'm going to focus on the bachelor's degree of nursing program, and we frequently get a lot of uh, both new freshmen, incoming high school students, as well as transfer students, people who have um, uh, earned college credits elsewhere and are going to be transferring into our program. So that is the student profile I'm trying to cover today. And when I get started talking about the nursing career, I, I like to mention um, all the different ways that a nursing degree can be used and the different shapes that a career in nursing can take. So this slide is um, just the beginning of the different uh, specializations and um, roles that nurses uh, can, can play and the different um, patient populations that, that nurses can focus on. So there's lots of different environments, as you can see here. I'm not going to run through everything, um, but there's many different ways to be a nurse, and there's many different ways to practice nursing. Um, so keep that in mind if, if you're merely watching this for some research or for gathering information purposes. Um, and you're not sure if you can picture yourself as a nurse, uh, keep in mind that there are um, a lot of different types of nurses and a nurse's career can really evolve throughout um, you know, the course of working uh, 30 years or more. Um, so that is uh, you know, one introduction uh, to, to the career of nursing. Now, uh, at UW-Milwaukee, we talk to our current nursing students, and um, we try to get a sense of uh, why they are in our program, what led them to pursue a career in nursing, and here are some of the answers that they have given us. Um, uh, not listed here, but uh, very frequently um, answer to this question, why nursing, I hear um, because they want to help people. So helping people is, I think, inherently part of uh, many healthcare professions and certainly nursing as well. Um, I think it's safe to say nursing is usually, um, you find yourself in a dynamic environment. Um, it certainly presents itself with many challenges. And um, as I mentioned in the previous slide, ways to evolve and um, grow your career. Uh, we talked about the different specializations or patient populations. Um, nurses can can focus on. There are also many roles that require advanced degrees or uh, graduate level degrees. So uh, keep in the back of your mind um, uh, the possibility of returning to school after a four-year bachelor's degree for maybe a master's or a doctoral degree that would allow you to reach um, a higher uh, level of, of the career. Uh, one example I think a lot of people are familiar with is nurse practitioner. Uh, that outcome does require either a master's degree or a, a doctoral degree to, to get to that level of nursing. Um, lots of job openings uh, throughout healthcare in general. Also with nursing, you can see there's, there's a huge demand for nurses, at least in the state of Wisconsin, but certainly nationally as well. Excellent starting pay. The, 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 the $57,000 uh, salary there is um, something that we have found is true in southeastern Wisconsin for uh, new graduates with a bachelor's degree in nursing. Um, and a very high placement rate, we, we see our, our students finding a position as a registered nurse 
uh, very quickly after graduation. Uh, should not come as a surprise. Um, uh, but those are some of the reasons our students have told us why they chose to pursue nursing. Um, and uh, we also asked them why they selected UW-Milwaukee. Um, uh, we are typically ranked within the top 15% of colleges of nursing that have graduate degrees uh, nationally. So we always had a very high ranking. Um, we have uh, world-class faculty, and that, that is you know, something uh, that's been true across UWM, certainly within the nursing program. Um, we are a large nursing program. We are still the largest college of nursing in the state of Wisconsin. Um, by that, we mean we graduate the highest number of uh, students with a bachelor's degree in nursing per year. Uh, so each year we're, we have a pretty high capacity compared to the rest of the colleges of nursing in Wisconsin. Um, some things I might touch on later in the program, uh, in, the, in the session, we have um, mandatory advising for our first year students with their academic advisors. We have a specialized nursing study center within our building that provides uh, structured um, uh, study sessions for students who are um, at any point in the nursing program, but that can be a really uh, important resource to uh, build good habits and get the most out of these classes that can be uh, challenging at times. Um, towards the end of this session, I will definitely touch on the research opportunities and the research aspect of being at UWM and also within the nursing program. There's lots of ways to get involved in research if that is something um, that interests you. So one highlight and uh, one um, uh, aspect of the nursing program that we you really can't ignore is being located in the uh, greater Milwaukee area. So we're in the city of Milwaukee, um, which is host to a really high uh, density of, of clinical institutions. And so we take advantage of that and we believe that that is um, one of our strong suits. That is something that really affects the nursing student experience. Um, because there is just a wide variety of clinical environments to learn in. Um, one thing I will touch on later is the, the different uh, types of clinical sites we use. We have um, uh, over 130 clinical sites that we use throughout the city, but um, keep that in mind when um, shopping around for a nursing program. Uh, you're going to have different environments that these um, programs are located in, and that will have an impact on where you, as the nursing student, will be um, practicing and learning uh, in clinical environments. Um, so that is definitely a strong suit of our program. Um, before I switch to the next slide, I want to just say that we are a two-step application uh, major. So we are not a direct entry or direct admit program. Our students have to be admitted to the university as incoming freshmen, and then they also have to be admitted to the nursing major. Um, so those are two separate processes that I can provide some information on, and um, that's what the next slide is uh, attempting to um, convey. So we'll go here now. Um, this is our path uh, to becoming a nurse at UW-Milwaukee. So let's talk about the first step, pre-nursing. That is when a student is admitted as an incoming freshman or transfer student. Um, there are two different sets of admission uh, criteria that we look for. Um, if, you know, for freshman students, we need to see a minimum uh, 19 composite on the ACT. Uh, we also accept SAT scores. Um, I believe that translates to a 990 uh, on the SAT. So, so standardized test scores is definitely something we look at, um, uh, but it's not the only thing. So if you have at least a 19 on your ACT, um, you're in good shape. We also require that students have taken one year or more of chemistry in high school. And for many people, that's automatic. I know a lot of high schools make chemistry a mandatory part of their science curriculum. But if you are a junior in high school and you haven't uh, taken chemistry yet and you're thinking about nursing, it would be a really uh, smart choice to fit that in for your senior year. So uh, chemistry in high school and uh, minimum 19 on the ACT are, are the main two requirements for being admitted 
as a pre-nursing student to UWM. We also look at your high school grades. However, we do not set a minimum high school GPA requirement. Um, we look at the science grades fairly closely and we like to see good grades. Um, I believe on average, our incoming pre-nursing students as freshmen have collectively a 3.2 GPA. That's, that's a rough average, but gives you some idea of where our students are at, what they've done in high school. Um, so those are the pre-nursing uh, admission requirements for incoming freshmen. Then we have a separate set of pre-nursing requirements for new transfer students. So if you are currently taking classes at another institution and you would like to land at UW-Milwaukee and um, join our nursing track, we need to see uh, that you've completed a, a science course, a transferable science course. That's a class that we will accept um, uh, at UWM. And we need to see that you've earned a B or better in that science course. Um, we also like to see at least a 2.5 college GPA. So those are the two requirements for being admitted to the nursing track as a transfer student at UWM. Um, then students come in and they are working on completing all of the nursing prerequisites, or you could think of them as general education classes. Uh, this includes um, English, math, uh, humanities requirements. There's a, a psychology course and a sociology course. Um, there's even an art elective, but the real core of our pre-nursing uh, requirements are a, a group of science courses. We have um, a sequence of three chemistry courses that are pretty essential for um, the material that comes later in the degree program, as well as two anatomy and physiology classes. Um, and so that is something to be aware of. I, I would say this is a degree that is somewhat uh, heavy in the sciences. Uh, certainly you need soft skills and good communication skills to be an effective nurse but um, we, the, the foundation is laid with uh, strong um, familiarity and concepts of chemistry uh, and anatomy and physiology. So keep that in mind. Um, and during the freshman and sophomore years of our program, students are also um, working on uh, building their experience. There are many opportunities to get out into the community and um, interacting with people in healthcare environments. We provide those through uh, our college. Um, many students will also uh, investigate um, uh, CNA training or certified nursing assistant classes on their own. Uh, we don't teach those classes at UW-Milwaukee, but um, we certainly encourage any student who's, who's um, thinking about getting those classes done. It is a very effective preview of the uh, nursing skills that you will be learning. And it's a good test for yourself to find out if this outcome of being a registered nurse is a good fit for you. However, we don't make CNA courses a requirement for getting into our nursing major. Um, we, we simply encourage it. So um, students are spending their time uh, in classes and gathering experience during their freshman and sophomore year of our program, they will then complete an application to be admitted to the nursing major, uh, typically halfway through their sophomore year of college. That is the earliest that students are eligible to apply to our nursing major. Um, uh, some transfer students uh, might end up uh, submitting their application to our nursing major at, at the end of their sophomore year. Uh, there is some flexibility when you're a transfer student, you have um, some, some options there as far as when to apply for the nursing major. Now, an important point about our nursing major is that we admit two groups of students into the major each year. As you can see in the boxes um, at the bottom of the page, I'm detailing how many people apply and how many are admitted in each semester to our uh, nursing major on the Milwaukee campus. So as you can tell, it is a competitive process. Not everyone who applies is admitted to the nursing program or the nursing major, I should say. Um, we typically see an average of 150 applications per semester. Sometimes the total is lower than that. Sometimes it's higher. Um, the amounts that we admit each semester are uh, set amounts. 
So currently we are admitting 80 students every to start the nursing major every fall semester. We also have a group that starts the major every spring. That's a larger group you can see there listed as 112 students are let into the nursing major every spring. So not everyone uh, is successful applying to the nursing major on their first attempt. There will be students who uh, need to apply a second time in order to be let into the nursing major. Now, the question most people have, and, and what I would like to share with you, is uh, how we evaluate students and um, what a successful applicant to the nursing major looks like. Uh, basically, there are three areas of the application to the nursing major. We will review the student's college grades, all of the classes they've taken at the college level, all of the pre-nursing requirements and what grades they got in them, whether they took the course at UW-Milwaukee or at an institution where they transferred the credit in from another college. Um, but grades is looked at, it is one component of the application. As I mentioned earlier, we also pay attention to your experience, uh, life experience, uh, resume, uh, things you've done outside the classroom. So that section is simply labeled experience and we will coach our, our applicants on uh, what experiences are relevant and how to compile those experiences and how to share them on the application. Um, but this is a broad based uh, uh, range. This, is, this, this can include a lot of experiences. We um, are looking for certainly any volunteering or community service or any work history that you have. Um, we really want to hear a lot about any healthcare related experience you have. And this is where we're pretty flexible. Um, certainly, we encourage students, as I mentioned earlier, to take the CNA training. If that works for you, we want to hear about that. But many students are admitted to the nursing major without uh, being a CNA or having completed a CNA course. Uh, students will find very meaningful experience volunteering at hospitals or getting hired in, in some capacity at a nursing home or community clinic, whether you're working the front desk. Um, we've had students who have come in with uh, experience as a dietary aide at a nursing home, um, emergency medical technician experience, getting your EMT training uh, is also something that would prepare you well. Um, but those are the types of experiences we are, are hoping to see on the experience portion of our application to the nursing major. Um, then the final component of applying to the nursing major is a communication section where we look at the student's written communication skills in the form of an impromptu essay. And we also allow the students to show, showcase their verbal communication skills by asking them three interview questions in person. And so you have um, uh, professors, nursing professors who will um, administer those interview questions. Uh, so altogether, that is you know, what we put our students through for applying to the nursing major. And um, we like to see well-rounded students. It is not simply a GPA contest. We, um, we value GPA, but it does not tell the entire story about will a, if a person is ready to succeed at the next level of our program. Um, so we like to see strengths in all three of those areas. Uh, in the past, we've had a very rough estimate of uh, GPA for students who have been admitted to the nursing major has been between a 3.4 and a 3.5, you know, collectively uh, of, of the students we bring in. Uh, but again, we, we don't want our students to focus too hard on, on grade point average. Um, uh, we want you to be gathering life experiences as well and able to talk about that, those experiences and what they mean to you. So then our students will enter the nursing major, and that portion is another two years. Um, that is very uh, um, structured, and each semester, it's four semesters total, each semester is very structured and set in terms of the classes you'll be taking and the clinical experiences you will be uh, gathering. Um, at the end of the nursing major, at the end of those two years, students will graduate and they will attempt the NCLEX. Um, which is the licensing exam that you need to pass in order to become a registered nurse. Um, we have over 8,000 alumni, um, and we have we are, um, as I mentioned, a very uh, we have a high capacity. We uh, graduate uh, the highest number of nursing students of any 
College of Nursing in the state. Um, so we're proud of that. Um, but I do want to talk a little bit more about the experience in the nursing major, because this is where things become much more hands-on for the students, and this is where they start building their skills in a couple different areas. Um, you are still going to take classes in regular academic settings, um, a sort of higher level uh, advanced level nursing classes, but then of course you also begin your clinical experiences. So we place students at very large, well-known hospitals in the area. Um, these are a few of the um, major hospitals that we partner with to place our students at. But students will also experience clinical sites that are smaller and more community-based. For example, uh, nursing homes, small community clinics, we also partner with the Milwaukee County Health Department, as well as a number of area schools to um, broaden the student's experience with different patient populations and again, different roles that nurses play in all these different environments. Um, and I think the off-campus clinical experience part of the program is what most students are excited to get to. And you do put in some hard work in order to uh, prepare yourself for those experiences, um, but it's very rewarding because at that point you have built up a really solid base of knowledge and you are finally getting to apply it to real world scenarios and situations. Um, so generally our students are very excited to put on their UW-Milwaukee nursing scrubs and get out into our communities and into our uh, hospitals and clinics and interact with patients. Um, but that is not the only uh, way that we have our students build their hands-on skills. We also have a skills lab and a nursing simulation center within our building where we can preview many of the scenarios and skills that students will need to know before they interact with patients. So simulation is a really large part of any nursing program. You'll find it's used across the board to enhance the education that nursing students receive. Um, at UWM, we are in the middle of constructing a brand new simulation center, which will be completed by the fall of 2022. So we're very excited to um, be opening up a larger, more modern simulation center. And that will, uh, in 2022, that will actually allow us to increase the number of students we admit per semester into the nursing major. Um, so uh, stay tuned for more information on that, but we're very excited to be expanding our nursing program and constructing a brand new simulation center. The general philosophy behind simulation in a nursing program is that it provides students with a controlled environment to preview skills, make mistakes in, and generally uh, gain repetition and gain some comfort and familiarity with skills and actions that they will eventually be uh, conducting on real people. So, uh, in these two pictures, you see some variations of simulation and skills building. We have many different um, simulators. Sometimes they're called mannequins or patients on our floor that um, can replicate different bodily functions and different scenarios to varying degrees. Some of our simulators are extremely complex and expensive. Uh, for example, we have um, a birthing simulator that, that can deliver babies. Uh, we also have simulators where you are um, able to preview respiratory issues. Um, they can replicate all the different vital signs of a human being, um, and as well as some basic skills simulation where students would practice um, drawing blood from a fake arm or um, inserting an IV, perhaps. So there's many different ways to build your skills, become prepared, and take those skills with you out into the uh, real world. Um, our students, I'm switching gears a little bit here, but I do want to talk about the research opportunities that our undergraduate students have access to. This is another way to build your experience component of the application to the nursing major. Students don't always realize this opportunity exists um, for them once they set foot on a college campus as a freshman or a sophomore, uh, but we have nursing professors doing research uh, in many different areas. And um, oftentimes, once students find out about these research projects, they become very interested in the, and they can't wait to get involved. 
a few quick examples. We have nursing professors looking at um, what are the best practices in pain management, so effectively communicating um, and treating pain uh, among patients that might have chronic pain, or I think a lot of this research involves trying to minimize the amount of uh, opioids that are prescribed, so what other ways are effective in treating uh, chronic pain. We have had nursing professors look at the long-term health effects of electronic cigarettes and vaping. Uh, we've had professors help hospitals actually construct new discharge protocols for certain types of patients in an effort to uh, lower the readmission rate of those patients over a long term, uh, a, a long window of time. Um, basically, the uh, goal of research is to positively affect the real world. So research might be done in a, in a little bit of a lab setting, but the effects are always brought out into the real world. And uh, again, it's an excellent, excellent way to build your resume while you're a freshman or a sophomore um, still in college preparing to enter the clinical part of our program. Um, another opportunity that I want to quickly touch on uh, are the study abroad trips that we coordinate for our nursing students. Every uh, winter break and summer break, our nursing professors uh, create um, somewhat brief, quick study abroad trips for nursing students. Um, typically, nursing students have very busy fall and spring semesters. So in order to um, fit in a study abroad experience, uh, it serves them best to plan that for the winter break in between the fall and the spring semester or the summer break, which is a bit longer. Um, but you have opportunities to join a group of nursing students and nursing professors going to um, Thailand. We have sent students to Kenya and Malawi in Africa. We've also um, sent students to Ecuador. I believe this year uh, the plan is to go to the Dominican Republic. So we have different destinations each year. Um, uh, it is, as I mentioned, somewhat of a brief trip, usually a little less than three weeks total but it is a whirlwind for the students while they are in the country. They are doing something different every day. Uh, very often they are interacting with medical professionals, nurses, uh, healthcare institutions in the host country. Um, they also have the chance to mix in a few tourist or cultural excursions. Um, every student that I've talked to that has done a nursing study abroad trip has loved it and it always, always broadens their horizons, which is an excellent thing um, while you're in college studying. So that was the final thing I wanted to add. Um, and I think I'm going to wrap up here. Uh, I will briefly share our social media pages in case you want to follow us on Facebook or Instagram. We have our own accounts there, as well as our homepage on the left, nursing.uwm.edu. And then I'm going to wrap this up again with my uh, contact information uh, in case you do have any questions for me after watching this. So thank you very much for attending our virtual information session and I hope to uh, speak with you and hopefully see you on campus soon.